Hey, this is Paolo from the NB Academy and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to make liquid vases like the ones in the track I Refuse by Netsky. So this is the original track. And this is the bass we're making. Yes. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. So as you can see, the patch is divided in two serums. And these two serums have different notes. So this first serum is just a sub. And if we go to the patch, we can see that it's just a simple sine wave boosted all the way up. And I just realized that I should have added some attack and release to avoid any clicks like this. Cool. So this is basically it. This is the first patch. But the combination of these two is what is interesting. So as we can see, this first patch is just A sharp, F sharp, and then C sharp. But then the second one, this one right here, is F2, then A sharp, C sharp, A sharp, G sharp, and A sharp, which is very weird, right? But if we layer this, that's what we get. Now let's just take a look at um, this serum. And what this is, is basically to sign with right here. So let's just remove the effects. And then let's take a look at the first oscillator. So it's just one sine wave. And now let's hear the other sine wave. It's just one octave up. Layer then. And then we have a hyper and some chords. And then this macro is modulating the rate of this LFO. And so if we put an EQ on the master, like this, we can see this patch is made to add those high harmonics. And now let's take a look at the sub. We can see how the sub is just doing self things, right? But if we layer both, we can see the whole movement happening. Now let's just take a look at the relations in terms of harmonics between these two. So the sub is playing A sharp. Let's just loop this section. And the layer is playing F2. So it's one octave up and eight semitones apart. So what we are learning from this is that we can have a patch that only does the sub or the fundamentals and then have a different patch that adds the harmonics on top and has a different movement and melody. So this was one of the best things that I got out of remaking this bass was that I learned that liquid basses can be more than one patch and the relations in terms of harmonics can be super interesting thanks to all of the variations that you have. So whenever you're making a bass line, don't stick with this only. Try to add a different layer that is only for a specific range of harmonics and try to experiment not only with the movements in terms of rhythm, but also the notes. So Netsky was a little genius when he made this bass. And the good thing is that we can learn from him and try to improve our tracks this way. So yeah, that's going to be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to get access to preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.